Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. My name is Gina Pike. How are you guys doing? I'm so happy that you're here with me. Maybe I should put this up. I just thought about that. Give me one second here while I get situated. Welcome in. It's so nice to have you here with me tonight on a Thursday night. I've um, never done one of these at nighttime or on a Thursday night. So I'm so happy that you're joining me here uh, for some chat and to talk about knitting and crochet. And uh, it's been a while since I've been able to do one of these. The last one I was uh, able to do, um, I actually had a special guest. So it's been a while since we could just sit and chat and get caught up. And so I've really been looking forward to this all week long. I've been so excited about this upcoming live. Um, let's just see who's all is here. And then I might have a little bit of housekeeping. We'll just kind of get into it. It looks like we have, uh, we have Michelle joining us. Hi, Michelle. It's good to see you. How are you doing tonight? We have Colleen, Grammy Colleen Crochets. Welcome in, my sweet friend. How are you doing today? We have Vanessa joining us. How are you doing, Vanessa? Oh, I'm so glad you got to catch it too. And I sent you an email. I hope you can uh, check your email because, um, You've won a prize. You need to check your email. I wanted to kind of give you a heads up on that. I hope you're doing well. Um, Michelle Crochets in Kansas. Hello, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. I hope you're doing well today. We have Claudia joining us. So nice to see you. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. We finally get to do a live together. We have Linda Q and Sandra. How are you guys doing tonight? It's so good to see you guys. Um, Everybody's jumping in. Let me say a quick couple of things of housekeeping, and then we'll, we'll continue on welcoming you guys in. I want to say um, we're just going to kind of hang out tonight, get caught up on some things. I have a couple of things I can show you. Um, let's see. What else am I going to do? Um, I, have, I have a happy mail if you guys want to see it. If you don't, I'll, I'll do it another time. But I have, I have a whole list of things here to do, and I have some free patterns I'm going to share with you guys. But... Um, uh, about the housekeeping. Okay, so if you guys have, um, I have some people, I've uh, given them uh, the ability to put links. If you are a crochet, if you are a channel and you need to share something with us, please go ahead and drop a link if you can. If you have a blue wrench after your name, please go ahead and share what you need to share with us. Drop a link. I encourage you to do that. I can't keep up with everything. I want everybody to be aware of things going on. So please do that. However, I did try this out, the last show that I did when Irina was here, um, and I think it works. We'll try it tonight. And if it doesn't, I apologize in advance, but if you guys do um, not have a blue wrench after your name and you need to drop a link, um, you can type the, the words exclamation point D-R-O-P. So exclamation point drop. And it's supposed to grab your YouTube channel link and put your link in the chat. So feel free to do that. Test it out. See if I did it correctly. I hope I did. <laughs> but let's get into the chat and let's just see who all is joining us. Um, I stopped with Sandra. Sandra, it's been such a long time. It's so good to see you. Welcome in. Susan's joining us. Hi, Susan. How are you doing? You know, you guys, I let me know how you, you guys, if you like this time slot. I am actually more of a night person. I'm not very much of a morning person. I've never tried a show at night. So if you like this time period, let me know. Because I, I am still trying to land on a time that works best for everybody. And um, maybe you guys like nighttime better. I certainly, I think I'm a little bit more awake. I, we'll see. I might pass out here in a minute from sleep. Who knows? Uh, let's see. What is everybody saying? Oh, thank you. I, I'm so glad to see you here. Really, it means the world to me that you guys come and spend time with me. It's been a while. It really has been too long in my book. I mean, I, I was trying to think the last time I was able to do one of these. Like I said, it was like three weeks ago when I did the show with Irina. And we really didn't get a chance to chat then because I was doing that with her. And so I think it's been over a month since I've been able to been, been able to hang out with you guys and catch up and just see what's been going on. Cool. I'm glad you're going to check that out. I have Verna, my sweet Verna. How are you doing tonight? Welcome in. Michelle, McDavid. Hello. Welcome in. Dawn. Hi. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Such a beautiful smile. I love that. Donna G is joining us. Hi, Donna. Good to see you. And Debbie loves yarn. My sweet Debbie. It's good to see everybody. Oh my gosh. You guys are just warming my heart seeing you here. 
oh, you got the yarn. I'm so happy you like, I'm so glad you, you got it and that you like it. Um, it's, um, I actually have two more of those to give away. Um, not tonight, but I got, I don't know if you guys watched my yarn video, but Hobie um, split my yarn. So I got my yarn shipment. I had like a bunch of sock yarn come in and I was waiting for some cotton cakes to come in. And uh, so I finally got my cotton cakes to come in that I'm going to be giving away here on my on my channel. So I'm excited about that. Um, I think yours was in with the sock yarn like it was all by itself. So it was meant to be with you. And I'm so happy that you like it. Uh, let's see. Melissa, so good to see you. How have you been? What you've been up to? It's really nice to have you here. Um, and Rachel's joining us. Welcome in. Granny D is coming in. Aw, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. It's so nice to see you. Actually, I think I just saw you on Dana's channel. So thank you for dropping in. It's so nice to have you You join us. And uh, I, um, I'm so happy. It just means the world to me. Saying hello to everybody. Ma Melanie, Melanie Jones is joining us. It's good to see you too. I'm so happy that you're catching my live. And Kelly, how have you been? It's so good to see you. And like I said, I thought some of these people coming in, welcome in. If you guys like this time period, let me know. We're going to be talking about projects you guys have been working on. I want to know what you guys have been up to, what you guys have been working on. What are you going to be working on? Are you going to be working on, you know, do you guys, I mean, me, I was trying to think about this too. Like I used to, before I started doing YouTube, I used to take the summer off and I used to um, kind of not do a lot in the summertime. So I kind of want to know what you guys like to do. Do you like to do, do a little bit less in the summer? Cause you know, we get a lot to do outside and are you, are you consistently making things? I just am curious. And if you are making things, <clears throat> excuse me, are they smaller? Are they bigger? What do you guys like to make? I'm going to get some water. Hold on. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Oh, Rachel's saying this time works for her. Good, good. Uh, let's see. Oh, good deal. Everybody likes this time slot. I, I'm awesome. Thank you guys so much for letting me know that because, um, I, like I said, I'm still trying to figure this out and I think the evenings probably will work better for me too, because in the mornings I'm kind of just still chugging my coffee and trying to, uh, trying to wake my, wake myself up here a little bit. Uh, let's see. Everybody's liking this time. Let's see. Uh, Claudia is saying that she wants to see my happy mail. Aw, you're so sweet. Okay. We'll open that up here in a little bit. And like I said, I've got a few other things to share with you guys. I think you guys are going to love the patterns that I picked out for you guys, the free patterns. I've got some free patterns to share, knit and crochet. Got a good selection. I've had a whole month to pick some out, so I should have been able to be able to do that. And I do also want to kind of talk a little bit about an upcoming, my next, I'll just go ahead and tell you, my next live show is going to be on June the 4th, which is a Saturday. Now, I might change the time period. I need to talk. I do have a lady who is coming on the show. You guys have heard me talk about Amanda Hope, right? Amanda Hope Yarn. Her name is Wendy. She is the owner and creator of that yarn store. She's the person who picks out the yarn colors that she uh, uses to create these kits. She's going to come on and talk to us. And I'm so excited about that because I've made, I made shawlography with yarn from her store. I made As You Wish shawl with yarn from her store. And I just finished this shawl, the Rami Hill Mystery Shawl Knit Along. I just finished these shawls. I just finished this last night and I blocked it this morning. This is another one and this is her yarn and I just finished it. I'll be probably talking about this next week. But this is the Time Heels and this is her, um, uh, you had me at Grello and then her Steel Yarns. So anyway, I'm excited that she's coming on. If you guys want to, I'll go ahead and show you my other one too, since I'm talking about time heels. Might as well. This is the one for my bird for keeping warm. And like I said, I'll probably have a, a longer video. There's like a few new stitches this week uh, with this and the bind off. But that's what this one ended up looking like. So those are my finished shawls. And then you guys have seen that one. I just had a video on that and the, the stitch tutorial will be out. I think it's coming out Saturday. So, and that's tone poem. And those are all Rami Hill patterns. 
Uh, uh, Jennifer's here. Hi, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. You are up late, my friend. She's in the UK, which means it's like really late. You are a night owl. Well, I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Barbara is joining us. Hello, welcome in. Um, let's see. Oh, Susan's saying she's a night owl too. I, that's why my um, email is knit by moonbeams because I used to sit up all night and knit. And um, I mean, I would get so into it. It would be like four o'clock in the morning. And I'd still be up and, my, and Brian would be like, what are you still doing up? I'm like, I'm getting a lot done. So anyway, that's, that's why my, G, my Gmail address is that. That's why I am that in, in uh, Ravelry. Um, it's very old, but I, I used to stay up a lot. Now that he, um, you know, I kind of try to be respectful for him. So I do go to bed a little bit earlier now. But if it were up to me, I could sit up probably all night in it. Uh, let's see. Everybody saying hello to everybody. Oh, thank you guys so much for saying that. I appreciate that. They, yeah, I, I love the, the pattern this year that Rami put out for these knit, mystery knit alongs. They really, she did a really um, great job. I'm going to get into that next week. But that the, there's so many lacy leaves. And I think this pattern was a little bit more challenging than the one she's had in previous years. She kind of stepped up her game since it was her 10th annual, I think. I think. I don't know. I don't, I'm not in her head. But um, it was a really fun shawl. And I'm glad I got to make two. And I'll give you guys, since you guys are here with me and we're just chatting like as friends, I am going to give one of these away. So when you watch that final clue video, if you want to um, put in for that, it's going to be under that video. I'm going to give one of these away and whoever wins will get to pick whichever one they want. So there you go. Y'all got this inside scoop before I even made my video. Uh, Lori is joining us. Hi, sweet Lori. Nice to have you here. Um, let's see, everybody saying hi to everybody. Oh, Sandra saying this is a good time for her. Uh, Tammy's joining us. Welcome in, Tammy. I was just thinking about you earlier today. I just saw, um, I saw you on Facebook. That's what it was. I'm so happy to see you here. Welcome in. Leah is joining us. How are you doing? It's so good to have you here. I know I saw your email or your message and I just, I'm still working on my comments. So please forgive me. I kind of saw you had finished your shawl. I'm excited to see that. I, the shawl that the, uh, the green shawl that I posted in my community tab, that's from Leah and I, she's saying that she's finished it. So I can't wait to see that. Um, let's see. Linda is saying she is constantly making and she makes blankets in the summer. That's interesting to me. I like, I like knowing that I, I've been like the, at the last couple of years since I've been on YouTube, but like I said, I used to take a little bit of a break, but, um, this year I'm going to continue to push on. I just finished up these shawls and, um, I told myself that I was not going to do another mystery knit along. However, <laughs> Uh, another mystery knit along has for a shawl has come up and I'm going to be sharing that next couple of days as well. So I'm probably going to do that, but I am also going to be working on this top that I've been trying to work on for the last month. And I haven't because of these shawls and this, I don't know if you guys remember this, it's the secure, secure top. And I, that, I've just started it, but it looks, it looks really interesting. Um, this is like a linen cotton yarn. So it'd be nice for summer. This is called, let's see, it's called Zoe by uh, Juniper Farms. But the pattern, let me show you what it looks like. I think it's just a really cute top pattern, if I can find the picture. Give me one second. I wasn't going to talk about it, but we're talking about it. So here we go. Here's a picture of it. You can see what it, it looks like. It's got lace around the yoke, and then it's got another lace panel, and it's got lace, um, all along the bottom of the the shirt and then it's also got lace around the sleeves so i'm excited about making that and getting back to that as well kind of took a little bit of a shawl detour and i'm hoping to get back into that uh debbie says this is a good time for her of course yeah you're you're uh seriously behind me on the time thing so that i'm thinking that might be good for you but thank i'm glad you let me know i'm gonna have to go back through these and tally the tally up the the choices um 
Let's see. Uh, Jennifer is saying she's having, she's struggling to find a suitable powder for the Halloween yarn she won off of me. They all seem to be more than one cake. Oh, man. I just saw a shawl pattern. Did I write it down? It was a thousand yards. It's a knit pattern. Is that okay? Or do you want a crochet pattern? Um, I don't think I wrote it down. It was something flowers. I can email it to you if you're interested. Make a con. Let me know. I can. I, it's a flowers something, but it is knit. But it, it's it's like a thousand yards for gradient. I think it'd be really pretty. Um, let's see. Michelle is saying she's making anything right now. Sh shawls, socks, tops. It depends on. But depends on. But right now, I got a shawl on her hip. All right. I love that. Um, and I love that you make everything. I, I want to get back. I haven't, I was going to do socks this year and I was actually thinking of maybe doing sock camp. Are, are any of you guys going to be doing sock camp coming up this summer with, uh, the crazy sock lady? And I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers will probably be doing it. Like probably maybe Linda might be doing it since we're doing the sock Linda and Kim. I'm not sure if they are or not. I'm a little bit behind with everybody. I'm having a hard time keeping up with, uh, all the videos and all the channels. Uh, let's see. Donna is saying that uh, camping season is for it. This is camping season for her. So crochet and knitting tends to be minimal. I totally understand. I mean, that's kind of how we used to be with the summer. I think we got out into the pool more and all that. So anyway, um, it's a good time. You know, they got to take advantage of the weather, you know, the nice weather. Melissa likes this time. Uh, Lori is making a trick or treat bag. Oh my good, oh my goodness, a trick or treat, a trick or treat bag cow. How interesting! That sounds really like a lot of fun. Oh, you have to tell us who who is that a YouTube channel doing that, or is that like a somebody in Ravelry doing that crochet along? Um, Dana, Dana, creatively created crochet triple C is joining us. Hi, welcome in. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you for joining us. She's saying hello to everybody. It is so nice to see you. How have you been? I hope you've been doing very, very well. Um, what a nice surprise. Uh, Tammy saying she likes to crochet year round. Uh, love that. Do you like to do more? Do you do heavy stuff in the, in the summer, though? Do you do like blankets and stuff? Or do you just do, you do everything? Uh, Zoila is joining us. Hello. It's nice to see you. We've been having a little bit of chit chat today. Catching up, I've been kind of catching up on my comments. It's nice to have you here. Um, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Kelly. Thank you. And Vita is joining us. Oh, my goodness, and Vita. Welcome in. Isn't it kind of late for you? I was thinking that this might be with my East, my people that are over in Europe. This might be kind of late for them, but welcome in. It's so nice to have you here. Well, thank you, Vanessa. You have to tell me where you are. I know Vanessa's knitting that same Rami Hill shawl, and you need to tell me where you are with yours. Um, oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Lori, Michelle, and Zoila. I appreciate that. And Melanie, thank you. Linda, you guys are so sweet. Oh, my goodness, my chat just went crazy. Okay, hold on a second. I'm glad I had that comment highlighted. Um, Amanda is here. Hi, how are you doing? It's good to have you here. And oh my goodness, goodness Leah is saying she wakes up at 4 a.m. to knit. <laughs> so you're a morning bird. Oh my goodness. But you know, it's it's kind of nice sometimes in, when in the middle of the night, it's so nice and quiet, you know, you get a lot done. Uh, let's see. Debbie saying her best knitting is the middle of the night. I agree. Sometimes it can be. Uh, let's see. Vanessa is saying she is... Usually situated and heading for sleepy town. This time slot is at least keeping her awake a little later at night. Oh, oh, well, thank you for being here. Appreciate that. We won't keep you up too late. I'm not going to keep you guys super late. You guys know, I understand everybody has a busy life. I just like to keep these for an hour or so. I don't like to keep everybody for hours and hours. And I know everybody's busy. I just kind of want to catch up with you all. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Invita. I appreciate that. Trina is joining us. Thank you for coming. It's nice to have you. She's saying hello from Hidden Night, North Carolina. They're having a bad storm there and under a tornado warning. Oh, my goodness. 
we're pray sending a prayer that you guys will be safe and that it'll just stay up in the air it won't come down goodness that's scary tornadoes are always so scary um oh well thank you yeah i hope i can knit, knit that top i hope i can do it right thank you guys i just uh I'm not that great at the tops, at the wearables, which is why I'm trying to work on them. Uh, Amy Londa Crochet, welcome in. Nice to have you here. Welcome in. And Liz Crochet and more. Hello. Welcome in. Nice to have you here. Like I was saying earlier, so some of these people who are coming in, the, some of these creators, if you guys need to share anything with us, please go ahead and do. Um, I have tried to put a code in my night bot where you can type exclamation point and drop and it's supposed to grab your url to your youtube channel and if you need to share something with us please go ahead and do that i would you know don't want want you guys to not share with us if you have something you need to share with us uh let's see jennifer is saying that she wants to practice more crochet but thinks she thinks knitting okay i'm gonna make a note because I, I that was a knit pattern and i have your email so i'm gonna it, I'll find that pattern and send it to you. I remember it was right at about that that um, that yardage for that um, shawl. Give me one second here. If I don't write it down, I might forget. Let's see. Um, aw, you guys are so sweet. I just love you guys so much. Y'all are so nice to each other. This is, uh, Jennifer says she wants to make a summer top, but she's going to probably look for a knitted version as well. Okay. Awesome. It's a, uh, I don't know. I like, I like them both. I'm, last year, this time I was making a crochet, my first crochet top. I'm thinking I really like to make the crochet tops that are like, um, almost like a swimsuit cover up and you can kind of wear like a little tank, like under it, like I'm wearing right now underneath it. I like those a lot too. So, um, they're just kind of cute. And so I like those as well. Um, and I have actually a crochet top pattern that I want to make. What if I can remember the name of it? I shouldn't have opened my mouth because I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I have the yarn right there and I've been meaning to work on it and I've started it. It's like all these little flowers that you do. You do like six large flower motifs and then you connect them with smaller flowers and uh, it becomes a top. But it's kind of like the top I'm talking about. It's kind of like a summer cover up top. What is the name of it? Oh, I can't remember. Um, I'll have to come back with you guys on that. I'm so sorry. Um, I just can't remember. But I want to work on that. I have the yarn already wound and everything. Uh, Linda is saying she's working on a wrap by uh, Shondi's Expression Fiber Arts. I'm sure that's gorgeous. Her patterns are amazing. Um, ooh, Amy's crochet and socks for the first time ever. How awesome is that? That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Sherry's joining us. Uh, crochet and Knitting Addiction with Sherry. Welcome in. Nice to have you here. I actually just posted one of her projects on my community tab. Really gorgeous um, pattern from Expression Fiber Arts. What a way to bring it all together. It's really, really pretty. Go check it out. And thank you for letting us share that, Sherry. Um, let's see. Lori is saying that... Um, her, that pattern she's working on is a YouTube channel, Dezola Designs, and I've heard of her. Thank you for sharing that. That's that crochet um, uh, crochet along for a Halloween bag, trick-or-treat Halloween bag. Thank you for sharing that. Um, let's see. Uh, Charlene's Crochet Corner. How are you doing, dear? It's good to have you here. I hope you're feeling well tonight. Um, and nice to have you here. And Sarah is joining us. Welcome in. Nice to have you here. Whippy Chick Crochet is joining us. She says she likes to make squares in the summer. I don't know if you guys have been watching her channel. She's been doing all these um, awards for all these different people. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you for joining us. I've been voting for people on your channel uh, for um, tutorials and stuff. It's really great that you're doing that and very nice that you're giving people recognition for doing tutorials. Um, I mean, that's kind of how I learned. I don't know about you guys, but I learned how to do crochet and knitting through watching creators on YouTube and watching YouTube videos. 
So I can't uh, say enough for people who do tutorials because that's how I learned to do what I really love to do. So I love that you're highlighting that and, you know, drawing attention to people. And some people may not even know some of them, so they might learn some new people. So that's really great. Uh, let's see. Uh, Melissa says she likes to knit and crochet just the same in the summer, but sometimes they're busier doing outside things. So she might get less done. That's exactly how I think we are too. We've got to take care of our pool, yard stuff. It just uh, never ends. You know, it's like a, you get something done, you turn around, you got to start again. Um, uh, Claudia saying she's going to do a lot of socks and crochet in Af Afghan. Lots of socks, only three pairs, only three pairs. That's still, that's six socks. That's good. It says, Ah, you are my dear friends. I just love each one of you guys. Seriously, I get so excited when I get to do this. I don't do, get, do, get to do it a lot, um, but when I get to do it, it means the world to me. And then you guys show up and it just makes my day. It's like we are having a big party here on my couch. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, Tammy is saying that she uh, loves doing the wearables. She's doing everything. Love that. Um, Barbara is in Texas. Me too, Barbara. Welcome, my fellow Texan. It's so nice to have you here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tammy is saying that she has a blanket on the hook now. Awesome. That's awesome. And Vanessa is saying she's on clue three, row 10. She keeps thinks that she's missing something. We'll flub it up, but she will get it out in the morning after coffee and have a good look at it. Okay. Well, you know, there's no rush. Just take your time. Just enjoy it. I mean, I'm kind of sad that I'm finished with mine. So just enjoy it. I just, just wanted to check with you and just see how you're doing. Oh, thank you, Zoila. I appreciate that. Saying the thumbs. Here we go. This is our time check. And Vita's saying it's 5.50 a.m. right there. She's in India. That's why I was saying I bet it was a little bit early for her. But she must be a morning person. So welcome in. Well, good morning. And it's, it's nice that you're spending time with us this morning as you're waking up. Uh, let's see. Liz is crocheting a top. She's almost done. Um, that's awesome. That's always a really great feeling when you get close to the end. It's like, yes, I'm going to finish. I know. It's, it's just a sense of pride. You finish, finish the project um, after putting so much into it, you know. Let's see. Kelly says she crochets in the summer. In the say, I'm sorry, she crochets the same in summer as winter because she keeps her house like an ice box. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, um, that helps, doesn't it? Sometimes you get you get to crochet in a blanket and you get under it and it keeps you warm. I love that. Uh, let's see, Liz is saying this is uh, her first time catching me live. Well. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, I've seen your your show live. I've seen you do some bingos and stuff. I'm sure I'm not as polished as you. Like I said, I don't do very many of these. Um, actually, I think this is my number eight, eight or ninth show of this year. If you, that tells you how, how many I don't do. So, but welcome, man. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, Lorraine is here. I haven't seen you in a while. She's saying hello from sunny Alberta. It's nice to have you. And it's nice that it's sunny there. How are you doing today? Uh, we have Mary Beth joining us. Welcome in. Let's see. Kelly is trying. Kelly, you have to do the exclamation point drop. So to put the exclamation point in front of it and then drop. No space. And I think that will make it work. I shouldn't have made it so complicated. Uh, Leah is saying, always fun living in Tornado Alley. Uh, she lives in far, uh, far northern Illinois. They had tornado. Oh, Every time, you know, every year this time for us, that's when, it, you know, every, I'm sure everybody in the U.S., it happens. And it's just, it's so, um, ner it's kind of just makes me nervous sometimes. And we get a lot of hail and stuff. So, um, yeah, it just, uh, yeah, there we go. She did the drop here. This, this is what you have to do, drop. And then it should like that. Yay, I'm so glad it worked. I'm so glad it worked. I did it. <laughs> Sometimes I can get things right. Sometimes. Uh, very good. I'm glad to see that. And tell us what you're doing on your channel, Whippy Chick. I know you're doing the awards, but tell us what, what you might be doing on your channel. That we'd want to, um, some things we might want to come check out. What's going on with you? 
Um, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Her name is Julie. Yes, that's right. So sorry. My, my head's not working with names lately. Let's see. Trina was saying that uh, Leah Arnold. Okay. Sorry about that. Thought that was to me. Let's see. Uh-oh, my chat jumped. Woo, it really jumped. Let's see. Oh, you guys are sweet. Y'all are all talking to each other. I tell you what, let's, uh, let me welcome a couple more people here. Um, let's see. Karen is joining us. Welcome in. We have Dee joining us. Dee's Creative Hands Crochet. Hello. Welcome in. We have Connie. Connie, just another stitch. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh, you're so sweet. I saw Connie's post today. It was so sweet about how go to somebody's YouTube channel and say something sweet like this to them, make them make their day. Thank you, Connie. That's so sweet. And it does make my day. So she's trying to spread kindness to everybody. And that's so kind that you're doing that. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Um, I tell you what, let me do one quick thing. And um, I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the patterns. We're 30 minutes in. I want to keep an eye on this. Um, to, okay. You guys know I like to do the free patterns. And since it's been a month, I've been kind of scouring and looking. I've got some knit ones and crochet ones. All the links are down in the description box below. They will take you either to a Ravelry or they might take you to a website where you can grab the free pattern. So let's just go ahead. I got to get over here and I'm going to, I'm going to keep Connie's. Oh no. Okay. I know where to come back to. I'll come back to Connie. I'm going to take that down because you guys might want to see all of this. All right, let's do the knit patterns first. Let me get my notes, and then we'll do the crochet ones. All right, if you guys are ready, I am ready. Here we go. Free patterns for today. Uh, the first one is the Mercutio My Friend Socks. This is by Indie Wolfhammer. And I love how she did even the variegated version like this. They're so cute with the little cables on there. Um. Uh, the next is a top primavera. This is by Isabel Nasamito. I hope I said that correctly. It's a cute top. I love the detail on the back. That's just really pretty. Great for the summer, too. All right, then this is the Gentle Waves Knit Blanket by Kat Zimmerman. And there is going to be a free crochet version. This is the knit version, but there's going to be a crochet version I'm going to get to here in a minute. She did a knit and a crochet, and I just love that. It's like an old shell pattern. All right, this is the Autumn's Weekend Shawl by Olga Rostovskaya. I hope I said that correctly. And I'm just getting a little bit closer here so you can see some of the knitted detail. But I do think this is a, a simple lace pattern that you can do. It's, it's, it's got some lace in there, lace panels. I think you could do it. This is the Cleomi Top by Barocco Hand Knits. It's a cute little simple summer top. Looks like all the yarn's doing the work in that for the striping, but just looks like a really nice little top you can make out of some cotton yarn for summer. Free pattern on their website. This one is the Amsterdam Small Shawl by Noelween Jezequiel. Cute, cute, simple shawlette. Uh, probably, I think it used like 437 yards of yarn. Uh, so if you have like a, one skein of yarn, you're not really sure what you can uh, make with it. Make a little simple shawlette. It could be worn as a scarf or a little wrap, for, maybe for church. I know our church is always so cold. Um, always have to carry a jacket and stuff. So those are the knit patterns. Let's go into the crochet patterns. And I hope you like these just as much as you like. I like those and I like these too. Let's, let's get into them. All right. For the crochet, we're going to go straight into that Soft Waves Crochet Blanket by Kat Zimmerman. This is the crochet version of the knit version we just saw. Same designer. So she did one of each. This is the Triangular Top Pattern by Karen Adendorf. I love this top. I love that center piece and I love how she did the little picots around the edges on the sleeves. Super cute. This is the Charlie Chunky Bear by Nicole Chase. Cute little crochet bear. You could make it for people who might be in the hospital, your grandkids, um, anyone who might need a little bear hug. Super cute. This is the Saffron or Mrs. Reynolds Shawl by Serzium Crochet. 
And I think it's just, I love how she did the tassels on the edge there. And then this one, it was without the tassels, but in a gradient yarn. Really pretty chevron crocheted lace there. Really nice. This is the Bahama Blanket by Tony Lipsy, who is also TL Yarn Crafts. Um, this is free on her website. And this is a Tunisian crochet pattern. So it's a little bit, it's Tunisian crochet, if you can do that. Really pretty with the yarn that they picked in that. It's kind of got that chevron as well. And then the last pattern I have is this Bobble Flower Crochet Tote by Arange Yudashika, who is also known as Crochet for You. I think it's just a cute little summer crochet tote made out of those granny squares that you put piece together and then put like a rope handle on there. And it's just super cute, super, super cute. All of those links to those patterns are down in the description box below. Hope you like them. Hope you find something you might want to make. I would go grab all the patterns for free. I think they probably will stay for free, but sometimes you never know. They might not be free. So go grab them while you can, download them, and uh, uh, that way you have those patterns for if you want to make them for later, if you don't want to make it right now. That's what I like to do. I grab a lot of free patterns like that. Uh, let me get back to the comments. I believe we were um, with Connie. If I can find that. Give me one second. I know I said hello to, uh, yeah, I think we were like right in here. So everybody's saying hi to Connie. Welcome in. Uh, let's see. Zoila is saying that she learns everything she knows through tutorials too. And she appreciates the time and work it takes. To, yes. You know, that's kind of what I was, I think I was showing you guys with um, my little bloopers when you go to make a video it doesn't always go like you think it's gonna go i mean especially if you do it outside i don't do my videos outside very often but you know the dog starts barking my pattern flew into the pool because the wind went crazy and um cars going by making a bunch of noise it's it, but which i think with tutorials it's always trying to get your making sure your camera's focused or you stay in frame because you got like, for me, I can share this because it's right here, but I have like this arm and I like to try to do, I like to try to get close on my hands so you guys can see it. And, you know, you have to make sure you can stay in frame. And so it, it's not easy doing it. So, yes, the people who do tutorials, they deserve a nice comment and, and lots of recognition for doing that. Uh, let's see. It's so nice to see see you guys. I'm seriously, I haven't seen Dana in a long time or Laurel Rain. I haven't seen any of you guys in a while because I haven't done this in a while. Uh, D, try ex, uh, exclamation point in front of the drop. Go exclamation point, drop. Okay? I think that that I just saw somebody do that earlier and it worked. Um, you just have to, I, I probably should have made it easier. Maybe I'll try to go back and modify my code. I had to write some code in Nightbot, but... Um, you got to put that exclamation point in front of that for it to work. Uh, Teresa's joining us. Teresa Klobble. Hi, my sweet friend. Nice to see you. Um, Dana is working on a spring vest. Oh, my goodness. I bet that is so pretty. I would. I, is that going to be a pattern you're going to offer in Ravelry? Or I bet that's gorgeous. I love all her little ponchos and spring tops. That's exactly what I think of when I think of a, a summer top with the like the mesh and you can with a little tank and it's, you know, nice and, and it keeps you warm, but it doesn't make you too warm. I mean, I live in the South, so you have to kind of think about those things. Let's see. Everybody's saying hi to Connie and uh, Connie's going to be having her, um, picking her winner for her uh, uh, sub just because subscriber giveaway. I think uh, that's going to be happening soon. I've been excited about who's going to win that. I'm excited to see who's going to win that. I think that's going to be so so much fun for that person. All right, my alarm's going off. One second. I try to make myself an alarm to remind myself of one thing. Uh, let's see. Yes, Amy gifts for the grandbabies. Absolutely. That's exactly what I thought of when I when I saw that one pattern. Um, let's see. Oh, Leah is casting on a practice project. She's trying to learn cables. That's a great idea. You know, in washcloths are a really great thing to do when you're trying to learn new stitches and stuff, you know, cause they're just squares and you're going to be washing your face with it. You know, they don't have to be super pretty. I mean, that's a great thing to practice with. Plus you finish it up really quickly 
and I, I love to do washcloths. I, I think that is actually the first thing I ever made when I started knitting and crocheting. I think I did washcloths at first. Uh, let's see. Liz is saying she has crochet tutorials on her channel too. So go check that out. I'll go check that out. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love that. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, D says she's working on a sparkly duster bag, bag of days, belted bag, and a shawl that looks like a slice of watermelon. I saw that. I saw your video. No, you were on um, Crystal's Live or Connie's Live. You were on somebody's Live, Crystal or Connie's Live, and I saw that you that watermelon yarn. It was pink, and you were going to add the green. I can't wait to see that. You guys go check that out. It's so pretty. It's her own pattern. Um, oh, thank you so much, Leah. You're so sweet. I'm not really, um, I get, I'm a shy person, so I worry about it. Thank you, though. Let's see. Did it work? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yay. That worked. I'm so happy to see that it's working. Um, yeah. Let us know how that's going. Her watermelon cow. I thought it was a shawl, but it's a cow. Um, let's see if it got to Connie's. All right. That's good. I'm glad to see the drops are working. Uh, Karen is saying she's lucky there's no tornadoes in New Mexico. That is lucky. I love New Mexico. I keep telling my husband we should move to New Mexico. I think it's so pretty. We haven't yet, but maybe one of these days. Let's see. Uh, all right. Everybody's talking about the watermelon shawl. I can't wait to see that either. It's so cute what I saw of it. We have Antoinette joining us. Uh, two OGs hooking and stitching island style. Hi, sweet lady. So good to see you. Oh my gosh, maybe this time slot is better because I'm seeing so many people I haven't seen in such a long time. It is just making my day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you guys. Is how have you been? I know that the last time I checked, you were like right at 1K subscribers. I I, I was so excited for you to see that. And I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping in with us. Let us know how you're doing. Well, oh, the chat just jumped on me. I'm glad I had a mark. My goodness, did it jump. Okay, hold on one second. That's crazy. We have Hooked by Suze joining us. Welcome in. In the Sea Gat. Aw, so nice to have you. And it's so good to see you. How have you been? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, good deal. Everybody's dropping patterns. Everybody says nice patterns. Good deal. I'm glad you like those. I think they're pretty too. I just, I mean, I didn't create them. I just went and did the searches. I, I'm really good at finding things. That's what my husband says. I should just be like an internet searcher. If they would just pay me to inter do searches. Um, oh, you're welcome. I, I like doing that. Um, I like, I like finding these patterns. You guys are welcome, Lori and Sarah. You're so, so welcome. I love doing that too. I used to spend like two hours. This is before I did YouTube. I used to spend like two hours a day on Ravelry and I would go grab all the free patterns and every day I would do that. I think I have like maybe, I haven't checked the number, like 40 or 50,000 patterns in Ravelry that, you know, I didn't buy them, but I'm surprised they don't charge me storage fees but anyway i'm glad you guys like them and you're welcome thank you you're you're welcome melanie and linda you guys are sweet i appreciate that um and kelly saying she already has some of those i hope that uh maybe you have some i found some you didn't have though maybe let's see um granny d is saying that she uh she got into a bit of texting with Hannah who left for Florida this AM. I hope she has a safe trip. So howdy do everyone. She has to catch up all. Aw. Thank you, Dee. I appreciate that. Uh, Grammy, let's make sure that, yep, it's working. My drop link is working. I'm so excited. Yay. Everybody go check out all these beautiful channels that are being dropped here. And especially if you're watching on replay, please go check out these people's channels. These are amazing creators. Everybody does things a little bit differently. Like we have some that focus more on crochet, some focus more on knitting, some do both. Please go check out these people's, these, these amazing channels. Like I said, we're all making different things. We all share a love of yarn and fiber and knitting and crochet. 
and everybody has a different personality and you might just find your new favorite channel. So please go check out these channels and, uh, you know, give them some love, like what Connie said to do. That was really sweet of her to say that. And I, I, I say the same thing. Give everybody some love. If we're all trying to just be a little bit kinder, the world will be a little bit nicer place. Sally's joining us. Welcome in. I'm going to try to catch up here. I see everybody's kind of Patty's joining us. Hi, sweet Patty. She almost missed it. No, we're still going. We're still talking. And Angie, welcome in. Good to see you. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to catch up quickly. I'm going to make sure Liz is. Yep, Liz is did great. Good deal. I'm glad that link is working. Uh, everybody's saying hello. Don't, for the people who are just coming in, please don't um, please don't forget to uh, check the uh, the free patterns down below. Marilyn is joining us. Hi, Marilyn. Welcome in. Good to see you. Um, you know what? I think I caught up. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I caught up. I'm so excited. All right. So what I want to do with you guys is I want to talk about one more thing. It reminds you of one more thing, and then we do one more thing. So I have really three things. I'm saying one more, one more, one more, but a little bit more. Okay, so let's say, all right, the thing I want to talk about is I'm going to remind you one more time on the 4th of June, which is um, not that far away. That's on a Saturday. Um, it's at 10 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time, my time. The lady who started Amanda Hope Yarn, which is I've shown a lot of her yarn. I've, I've knitted with a lot of her yarn. She's going to be in my channel and we're going to have an opportunity to interview her. She's going to be open to, to questions. If you cannot make it and you want me to ask her questions so you can watch it on replay, go ahead and email, email me any questions you might have for her. And then I can try to get those asked while she's here and you can watch it on replay. But please, we'd love for you to come and love for you to ask her questions live. And she's open to answering all the questions and just sharing with us about yarn inspiration how she started things she's actually a yarn dyer out of she's in east texas um and not too far from where i grew up actually and uh she you know makes really beautiful yarns i've enjoyed making them like i said i used my I used it for shellography uh for uh as you wish and for um the rami hill the, that one i just finished um so please come and, and check that out. Just want to do another quick reminder. The next thing I want to do is, um, oh, happy mail. I'm going to do the happy mail. And then I got one more thing. All right. So, so yesterday I got this in the mail and this is from Debbie Perea. You guys know Debbie Perea. I'm sure you've seen her all in the chats. Got this little package here. And I, I hate that, that she's not here, but I hope it's okay that I open this up. It felt like a book. I try not to look right, right yet at the, at the names on here. I'm going to look at the card first. I'm going to be good. Behave. Oh, look at this card, you guys. Look at this. It says, Hello, Sunshine. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm going to read that later. It's a really nice note, but it's a long note. All right, so what did she send me? She sent me Annie's Crochet 40 Projects for the weekend. All right, that's awesome. Look at that. I, we were just talking about crochet projects. Look at this. I love this. That is so cute. Let's see if I can show you guys a couple more projects in here. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this little poncho. That is so cute. Oh, what a cute little girl. Oh, look at this. Look at these little cardigans. Those are so cute. Oh, my goodness. I need a grandbaby. Look at this. This is for the kitchen. That's nice. All right, so that's that one. Here's another one. There's another one. There's two more. This one is Easy Crochet Living. Look at this. That's shawl. Isn't that pretty? And look at this on the back. That's pretty. Let's see what we got in here. A couple of pictures. Oh, isn't that cute? That's a pacifier holder. Love all this. I have never would have thought to make some of these. Oh, look how pretty that is. A little um, sweater and booties, and it's got a hat, a bonnet. That's so cute. Look at the cute little pom-poms on that. So cute. And then let's see. Aw. These are little animal pocket pouches. 
I'm not sure what they hold, but look how cute they are. And then there's this one. This one is Crochet Magazine. I used to get this one, like Crochet Magazine. And this is, um, says Plaids, Stripes, and Creative Color Works. Oh, my, which I need to be working on. So thank you. Thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate that. I told everybody I want to work on my crochet this year, and I've been really bad about doing it. So that's a really good reminder for me to get on my crochet. And thank you so much for that. I really, really do appreciate that. That's Debbie Perea. And that was so sweet of you to send me this. I really do appreciate it. So that's the happy mail. So the last thing I want to get to is, um, you guys know I like to share stuff. And I got Hobie. And you guys know I got a lot of Hobie cakes. So we're going to give away some yarn. I'm going to give away this skein of yarn tonight. And then if there's going to be, so there's going to be one person who will win. And then I'm going to give this one away on the replay. They're exact same. This is uh, Hobie Cotton King's Sultan, 100% cotton. It's 875 yards. It would make a beautiful shawl or maybe, I don't know, you can make all kinds of, um, maybe not a top because that's only, it's 875 yards, but it's uh, scarves, uh, gloves, hats, all kinds of things. And um, this color is called, uh, it's a number, but I wrote down the name. It's 53. And the name is Amazonite. And it's kind of pinky peach with a goes to a light teal to a dark teal. All right, so we're gonna give this away and good luck to everybody and for the replay. So if you don't, if you're not a winner, please come back, put a comment underneath this, or if you're watching this on replay, put a comment under this video after this is over, and make sure you include the words Sultan which is just the name of the yarn. Let me see if I can show you it's Sultan, S-U-L-T-A-N. I'm not sure if that's focusing or not. S-U-L-T-A-N, this camera, webcam is not the best. Let's see if I can find it. S-U-L-T-A-N. There, maybe if I hold it back, it's like right there where my finger is, right there. All right, so that'll be the word that you want to put in your comment under this video after the show is over. For the replay, and I'm not sure when I'll pick it, but I'll put come back and put a date. Um, oh, no, I did write that down. I said on June 3rd, I'll pick a winner. How about that? I actually was organized uh, for once. All right, so for tonight, let's pick everybody saying they love it. All right, all right, pretty, pretty. All right, good deal. I'm glad you guys like it. So let's see, how many people do we have here? Do we want to do it? Do you guys want to do a number game? Or do you want to do, um, you know, where you do like a number one to something? Or do you want to do you want to just let Nightbot pick the winner? You let me know. I'll let you guys pick. The number game, I mean, oh, Granny sick, Granny D saying a word. I'll put the word in and, and, let, and let it pick. Okay, okay. We can do that. That's a good idea. Um... Let's see. I'm trying to think how I do that on Nightbot. Okay, so I'm not sure how to do that on Nightbot. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a mark in. I'll give you guys the, guys the word. I'll use the Google random comment picker. I'll count how many there are. And then I'll whoever what Google random comment picker picks, that's what we'll do. So you guys try to target it i'll give you guys plenty of time to put it in i'll have to find this while you guys are putting in the word let me see all right here we go so give me a second and let's see what's the word we're going to do tonight let's do oh hi Teresa. we're about to put in a word so you're here in time to win some yarn we're going to play for this yarn it's good to see you um, okay, so I'm about to put the mark in. Let me think of the word real quick. Um, all right, I got a word. Let me put that in first. Happy, H-A-P-P-Y. And I'll be finding this, and I'll come back and count it. Just hope you guys don't mind giving me a few seconds here. Um, ooh, it's a fly in here. He wanted to come to the to the live show. All right. I guess I left the door open too long a while ago. Um, all 
I also kind of maybe want to talk to you guys about um, something. Let's see, but I about my giveaways, and I hate to do this. I'm going to have a video coming out about it, but I've had some people trying to uh, scam me out of. Um, there's Christy joining us. Hi, Christy. Uh, I've had people trying to scam me, like trying to claim that they are somebody when they're not. And fortunately, I knew the person that they were trying to claim they were. So I was like, no way. But so I'm going to have to kind of tighten things up on my giveaways a little bit because, um, like I said, people are trying to impersonate other people to get prizes and tried to tell me like they uh, – can't get that they don't want the yarn they just want gift cards so it's um anyway i'm gonna have a video come out about it because um i think i need to explain it a little bit better than that okay let me count here for a second one two three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten Three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, nine. Oops. Uh oh. There it is. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, forty-one, two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-six. Yes, once, please. Okay, I got 46. Okay, I got 45 because I see Christina's is twice. Okay, so, all right. Oh, at 46, there's uh, the reins. All right, so 46. You guys wrap it up. Go ahead if you... Um, go ahead if you haven't put your word in. Go ahead, I'll give you 10 more seconds and you can go ahead and put your word in. I give you a little bit of a, a couple more seconds. Put it in, please. And then we'll go ahead and, and pick a number. Let's get a winner. I'm excited. You guys know I had to ship yarn the other day to New Zealand. I'd never shipped yarn to New Zealand before. That was, a, it was kind of crazy. I was, I was like, it was, um, there was only one service to New Zealand. It's kind of crazy. I keep, I hasn't been delivered yet. So I keep praying that it's going to get there. All right, so five, four, three, two. Please put your word in. One. And I love some of the extra comments you guys are putting in there. So 46, one to 46. That's what I, I, I said. So here we go. I've got, can you guys see this on my phone without, I hope you can. Can I see it? All right, let's, if I can touch this backwards. Hold on. I'm going to have to put my finger like this. All right, 34. Did you see that? 34. All right, that's the winner. So let me go back and count 34. I've got to figure out Nightbot. I'm so sorry. I know you guys, I'm wasting your time, and you're just like so sweet to me to put up with this. Let's see, where was the mark? I should have marked my mark. There I am. Okay, so 34. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sally is eight. Nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nine, nineteen is Donna G. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, seven, eight. Twenty-eight is Barbara. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 is Patty. Happy Patty. Congratulations, Patty. So happy for you. Let me write your name down. And now if you didn't win, please come back after this, this show is over. Just put a comment. You might have to look. It may not be the, the most recent one because it's still compiling and stuff. So but it'll be it'll be in my Look at my videos and you can come back and make a comment underneath it because I have another skein of this to give away. I have a lot more of these to give away. They had these on, a lot of these on sale, so I bought a whole bunch of them. 
I've got purple. I've got yellow. I have the orange is so pretty. Oh my gosh, the orange one is really gorgeous. I've got orange and yellow and rainbow. And so we got a lot of these things to give away here on this channel. Ooh, before I get out of here. All right, so let's see. Have I missed anything? We did the giveaway. We did, I talked about the live show. Um, yarn makes me happy too, Marion. Marilyn is so, <laughs> makes me very happy. Makes me too happy. And thank you guys so much for doing that with me. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me and letting me do this yarn and, and just chit chatting and catching up with me. And it's been so much fun. Um, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. I did the happy mail and thank you again to Debbie for the happy mail. Um, I do have an upcoming mystery knit along um, that I'm going to be sharing, but I am trying to do something a little bit extra special but I'm having to get some uh, approvals. I'm, I'm talking to the designer first. So I can't really say much more about that except for maybe keep your eyes open for another mystery knit along. I'm hoping that I can do something really special for you guys with that. If I can get the, uh, go, the okay from the designer. Did, we did the free patterns. I talked about the live show. We did the yarn. We did the replay yarn. I think... We've covered everything unless you guys have something for me. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, Patty saying, what? I love that. That's so funny. And um, oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you for stopping in. It's so nice to have you here. Um, yes, Leah, it is. Yes, it is. Just in looking at it. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. D, so are you. So are you. Everybody here has their own. Um, has their own twist on things and we're all talented and we all can do the things in a different way and we all complement each other. So thank you. That's very sweet. Lisa, go, uh, th this yarn, it's okay. This yarn is, there's another one on the replay. So come back and the word is, I'll go ahead and tell the word one more time is Sultan, S-U-L-T-A-N. Come back, make a comment. It's nice to have you here. Um, well, Patty, it's okay. Sometimes you win. It was meant to, meant to, uh, you were meant to win. It's good to see you guys. Thank you guys. I don't see any more questions. Um, I was everybody saying they're glad I came on tonight. So, okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, oh, thank you, Stacy. It's good to see you too. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for stopping in. Um, and thank you guys for spending time with me again. It's, it's, it's right in an hour. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but, um, I'll try to maybe start doing my, my shows at the nighttime thing. Cause I think for me, I I'm a lot more awake and it's so much fun. I've seen, I've seen so many more people that I have, I don't ever get to see. So thank you so much. It is it's such a, so much fun. And I hope you guys had a good time and, um, uh, uh, I will see you all very, very soon. Please take care of yourselves. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to email me. Um, if any of you guys are creators, would love to come up on a show with me, email me. I'm, I'm very open to collaborating with things like that. So just let me know. But, but otherwise, thank you again for spending time with me. Hope you have a wonderful night. I, I, I love in each, each and every one of you guys and care so much about you. And just it means the world to me to spend time with you. So we'll see you very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.